After seeing that Chinchilla released a live performance of Little Girl Gone, I knew I had to watch it with you guys. Her live performances, as you well know, always leave me just like... (sighs) The dynamics in her voice and the way that she's able to weave things together in a single performance is... is, I think she's one of the best vocalists out there right now, and it's so much fun to be surprised by her, especially in this setting. This is a singing channel, and I take great joy in pulling inspiration from my favorite singers and trying things with my own voice so that I can learn. And through my learning, through my continued learning, I'm able to coach other people in doing the same, learning how to learn about their voice and therefore becoming better singers. If you'd like me to help you with that, click the link below and join my free voice course. And I'll help you get started with your voice in the right way, the non-judgmental way, the freeing way. <laughs> I'm scared. Say that again now. Did I quit? Say that again So I heard you're back in town And haven't changed a bit, man You get off talking down to the little man Time you get what you deserve Wow Wow (laughs) You're so fucking stupid Been a while since my head was this polluted Lucky I know my own worth. Very different vibe than the, than the studio version. This one is coming more so far from like desperation, impending defeat. The other one was more confident, right? Right out of the gate. Let's talk about her voice as she enters. Say that again. Did I quit Say that again. Right? Bottom of my head voice. She's in her head voice there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I'm sort of whispering through it, but not an ordinary whisper. This isn't say that again where I'm losing all my air. This is a compressed whisper with true chord engagement. Say say that again. Say that again. I didn't quite hear you. As I think compression or holding back a little bit of air and staying in my head voice, the very lower part of my head voice, I get this reinforced sort of raspiness. It's very different than weak. Say that again. No. It's also not say that again. It's say that again. You save air. You have a little bit more oomph behind it. It's a really unique sound. Listen to how she perpetuates it here. Say that again. No. No. Didn't quit you. Goes down into her chest voice there to ground. Didn't quit you. Didn't quit you. I'm exaggerating it, but oh, the power that she exerts at the end. She has this sheepishness and then this. It's like a, a foreshadowing of what's to come, I, I think. Say that again. You're back in town and haven't changed a bit, man. You get off talking down to the little man. Time you get what you deserve. What? What you deserve. How light, how dynamic she is. Sometimes she leans in. But the main thing I wanted to point out there was the I, I, Entering from fry into true chord engagement, really cool. Haven't changed a bit, man. You get off talking down to the little man. Time you get what you deserve. Wow. Wow. You're so fucking stupid. Been a while since my head was this polluted. Lucky I know my own word. 
So ya, so ya wanna fight me? Are you big enough? Listen to the weight she adds to her voice there. Oh man. I know my own <sighs> she finishes that with a whisper and then adds the weight. So ya, so ya wanna fight me? Listen to the difference between the two soyas. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. Just practice that with your own voice. Going from, it's the same phrase, slightly different notes. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, light, and then with weight. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. A lot of people don't even think about that kind of thing when they're singing. They're just thinking about hitting the notes. She has so much dynamic power and control here because she thinks in a certain way. So ya, so ya wanna fight me? Are you big enough? Kick the back of my knee, are you serious? You keep on trying, but I like your blood on my teeth just a little too much. So bite me, slap me around the face. Now I'm twisting your arm till I hear it break. I get stronger every day. Okay, I want to go back and point out two exits in the way she articulates, not at the beginning of her words or phrases, but at the end, and how much character and interest that adds. So ya, so ya wanna fight me? Are you big enough? Kick the back of my knee, are you serious? You keep on trying, but I like your blood. Okay, listen, keep on trying. She sighs into a lower chest voice there at the end of that note. You keep on trying, but I like your <sighs> it's fast, but it's oh so cool. Now listen to how this contrasts with what she does next. Fight me, are you big enough? Kick the back of my knee, are you serious? You keep on trying, but I like your blood on my teeth just a little too much. So bite me and slap me around the face. Now I'm twisting your arm till I hear it break. Break! She lightens back into fry. Break! Break! <sighs> we don't think enough how we come out of notes, largely because we're trying to just get in the notes okay. But there's all sorts of interest that she adds as she arcs through a single note. Also how she sighed, I wanna go back and listen to this again, there's so much going on, so many different articulations and dynamics. How she sighs into one of these words. So ya, so ya wanna fight me, are you big enough? Kick the back of my knee, are you serious? Kick. Kick the back of my- Kick, kick, kick the back of my- It's not just- Kick the back of my! I'm not just singing the notes. Kick the, kick the back of my, my, my. Oh, there's so many different ways to do it. Me, are you serious? <gasps> you keep on trying, but I like your blood on my teeth just a little too much. So bite me and slap me around the face. Now I'm twisting your arm till I hear it break. I get stronger every day. Yay. Little girl gone, got the gun from a gangster. Run, little girl, run, little girl, bang. Say that again, I didn't quite hear. I 
love this like straight lace background vocals behind just sitting there. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. <laughs> I have to go back. Face, now I'm twisting your arm till I hear we break. Your arm, your arm. The use of staccato and sustain. Your arm. And she didn't sing through that. She's creating this. She's, she has to be the percussion with her voice here because there aren't those other elements that there were in the studio. Now, she did a lot of that in the studio version too. But it's really cool hearing her lead the percussiveness here. I get stronger every day. Yay. Little girl gone, got the gun from a gangster. Run, little girl, run, little girl, bang. Say that again, I didn't quite hear you. Oh, that is such a cool moment. Little gun, got the gun from a gangster. Run, little girl, run, little girl, bang. Say that again, I didn't quite hear you. When was the last time you did that with your voice? The cool thing about this especially is that she's basically talking here. Say that again, I didn't quite hear ya. What would it sound like with your voice if you expressed with the same diversity and intensity as she's doing? Not what would it sound like if you tried to imitate her, but what would it sound like if you took her energy and put it in your voice when you're just speaking? That's where it starts when you want to put real, true character into your singing voice. Do it when you're just speaking. And she's giving us a huge gift here as an educator to show us what she can do with just her speaking voice. Going into her head rest. I didn't, I didn't quite hear ya. Oh, there's so many possibilities when you let yourself go. And she does it again here in a second. Do you hear how she, she's holding back a little bit of air there on that ding, 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 ding. She gets a little bit of grit in her speaking voice. That's cool. No, cause I back a punch back into a corner. Corner, corner. The way that she's using each vowel, there's so much intentionality there. Oh, she's big. She's ready to attack. This is how she was at the beginning. It's in the vowel placement. It's in the airflow. She can bounce back and forth around to different characters. It's musical acting, absolutely. But so many things that we don't attribute to musical acting that we just attribute to singing get in the way of us doing cool things with our own voice. So much of great singing is musical acting. Don't forget that, especially when as you're watching stuff like this. Did you think I'd be easy? easy? Snap me like bamboo Mold me into the sole of your jackboot Wish I could bottle the taste Bottle She's using fry there, that's cool Boot Wish I could bottle the taste so you wanna fight me? Are you big enough? Wait. Can't go back on my knee. Are you serious? You keep on trying, but I like your blood on my teeth just a little too much. Do you hear that? Blood on my, blood on my. She's real husky, right? Blood on my, no. Blood on my teeth just a little too much. That transition, even really in the same range. La light, nasal bright, and husky. That's huge. I'm trying, but I like your blood on my teeth just my. a little too much. So bite me, you slap me around the face. Now I'm twisting your arm till I hear it break. I oh, there's another one of those. Break! Oh. 
out there and I'm just <laughs> for better for worse now really noticing all her incredible gazes into the camera she's fixed her gaze is fixed and so you really get a sense of how the energy and how her emotions go up and down breathing okay gotta go back and hear that climax again that was absolutely incredible She steps into those notes. It's so pretty. Okay, there's some really neat things going on with how she hits that high note and how she abandons out of it for a minute and then comes back in on hands. I guarantee you that she was able to hit that note in this live setting so well because there was this, this pre-thought about, pre-visualized abandonment period and then a re-entry. She didn't, she did, but she didn't permanently lock in to that note. Listen again with that in mind. There's motion, there's movement happening in how she approached, held, abandoned, and went back into that note. And it makes it more interesting, but it's also easier as a performer to sell the note if you don't have to lock into it. Huge! It's a mind game that you play with yourself as you work towards these notes. Hey, 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 hey. 
I re-entered to a slightly lower pitch and more confidently than I ended right before my abandon. This, to the listener, cements the confidence and the grounding of the performance. Whereas if she had just held out that note, listen again, if she had just held out that note and not articulated, abandoned and come back in like she did with the lyrics, it would not have had the same impact. It actually might have sounded a bit weak or defeated. But she abandoned before she could be defeated. And so she appears all the more powerful and authoritative. And it goes perfectly. It's like an allegory for what's going on with the lyrics and the story behind this song. I'm a gangster, honey. I've changed so much since I last saw Hands off my hair. How oh, very dead. Hands off my hair. Oh, Hulk out. She has so much going on with her, particularly her live performances, and they're extra exposed in how she arcs and puts energy in and pulls things out from under you as the listener. It is so incredibly interesting. I I don't think I have more fun currently listening to any other vocalist because of her range of, of techniques and colors and flavors. Thanks, Chinchilla. See you for more.